And welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk. This is Laughing Boy. I forgot to actually introduce myself in the first episode. Nah, I'll wow. put it in post. We're good. Uh, with me here again today <laughs> is Nintendo Capri Sun. Fix it in post. He's... We'll fix it in post. <laughs> Do it live. Settle it in Smash. So... <laughs> uh, oh, yes. And we are... In the last episode, we talked about just who who Nintendo Capri Sun is as a person. Now we need to know who you are as a YouTuber. Ooh. Yeah. So, actually, let's just start it off with, tell me about your channel. My channel is called Nintendo Capri Sun, and I pretty much play video games and talk over them. And as much as I love to say there was more to it, there really isn't. <laughs> I mean, sometimes the best things, Occam's Razor, the simplest yeah. answer is usually the best. I suppose there's all, I, I do write music occasionally too, so there is that, I suppose. But. You do, yeah, you do actually have, I should have mentioned that in the notes, but I, oh, yeah. you do have a, what, it, what is the program called? It's it's Mario Paint. It's Mario but... Paint Composer, actually. Someone took the music program from Mario Paint and kind of elaborated on it and made it so you had a wider range and added sharps and flats and that kind of thing and made more, like, realistic instruments without... So you don't have, like, cats and dogs and shit. Now you have <laughs> horns and strings and whatever. Because I remember seeing that, and I was like, well, shit, I wish that was popular when I was playing Mario oh, Paint. Oh, God, no. <laughs> when, back when I had to put it on a VC or a VHS? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God, they gave you a player's guide just to figure out how to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, so when did you actually start making Let's Plays? Well, um... Let's turn back in, the clock. In the sense of, like, video game, like videos actually on YouTube, that would be around the middle of... Or, well, the end of 2007, I believe. But, uh, I, but if... But I suppose, like, as far as actually recording video games and talking over it, I, in, in some manner of speaking, I did that, like, from when I was, like, a teenager. Because I had, like... Because I've made video, or well, I've made tapes all my life. That's how I do my diary, right. is on recorded tapes. And sometimes I play video games in the background, and some of those tapes are actually, like, my favorite ones to go back and listen to. So I thought, well, what if I could actually have the footage up there and me talking, or wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. And I'd always tell myself that maybe, you know, someday I would like to do that. And wouldn't you know it, YouTube comes along, and it doesn't even <laughs> take two years. People are doing it. And, <laughs> now you well, can! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, and man, that shot up fast. I remember I was doing, um, rock band videos at the time. Oh, man. Yeah, Jeez. uh, I was doing vocal videos, even though I turned off the, um, I turned off my microphone, so, oh. like, you still just heard the regular song, but, um, yeah, I was doing that for a little while, and then I kind of saw that some of the other people that I was following were doing, <laughs> like, they were just playing video games, and I went, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Who did? Uh, so, Crazy. what got you into doing? I guess you you already mentioned your videos. Was there something that kind of made you go, "All right, I'm gonna put these online"? Hmm. Ah. Uh, nah, I can't even remember hardly now. It's like once I realized that you know, people were doing it, I just said, "Well, shoot, I'm gonna do this too." Like when I saw, I mentioned this before, like White Mage Serenia's Final Fantasy VI. I think was one of the first official LPs I watched, but I had seen other videos up until that point where people were just, like, playing, like, had the camera pointed at the screen playing Link to the Past and just oh God, sitting yeah. in the background making Ninja Turtles references, and I'm like, geez, <laughs> where, why couldn't I meet someone like this in real life? We right? the greatest time ever. Yeah. So I, I'd started doing it because I thought this is my kind of thing, and I knew, it's, it's almost like I kind of knew from the beginning this was my area, this was my thing. Even though it wasn't technically my idea, because something awful started it, but yeah, but in and a I way, it's like I don't know. It's something that a lot of people actually don't seem to either know or care about. But something awful definitely was the the start, the drop off point for Let's Plays. Oh yeah, I mean they they started out with just screenshots on a message board, They're like this is where I am, this is what I'm doing, and <clears throat> you know this is what you can do too, or whatever. And then YouTube came along. Sure enough. Well, actually, they were already along at that point, but... 
Well, and I think, what was it? It was still screens with captions, and then it became video with captions. And I, I think it was just, like, that revolutionary moment when somebody was like, I could dub over this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it... It's kind of amazing to, to see the evolution of the of the the genre when you think about oh, it. Oh yeah, it is. It's crazy. This actually reminds me uh, of one of your first LPs, the Stupoid Run. Hmm. If we if we can talk about this, because you actually mentioned at one point that you didn't actually want to tell anyone about this. Your channel, I mean. Oh. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. That's weird, but, because I don't actually remember saying that. I'll, but, I'll have it up on, uh, I'll have it up for everyone else to see if that... If yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. That's no um, problem Yeah, it, it was probably one of the more interesting things, like, always going back to see the earliest known work of someone, especially you've been around for over, what, God, oh six my gosh, years, like seven almost years? eight years now. Yeah, exactly. To kind of go back and see that to see someone who's like, maybe oh. I won't tell anyone about this. It's, it's oh, kind of yeah. surreal. Well, I remember it, on that first Stupoid run that I did way back then, I never actually posted all of it, because there were... That's true. There were at least, like, two parts that I didn't post because I didn't like the... because I wasn't happy with the commentary. It was like I started ranting about something, you know. <laughs> some song or something and I got really immature about it like I was just like dum, dum, dum. I mean not like that I don't know that's what I no, think no, no. like in my head when I try to remember what I was saying but uh, I think I think when I said I didn't want to tell people about it I was probably referring to people in real life more than anything else like I didn't want people at work to know about it or something I don't know because I knew I was going to be talking about them oh boy I, I can hardly tell anyone about anything that I do uh, YouTube-wise in real life. Even though you kind of forgot about it, how do you feel about that statement now? Like, the fact that you don't, that you didn't at some point want to tell people about it. Do you feel differently about that? Oh yeah, I definitely do. Like, nowadays I have business cards, I'm going to tell everyone I can't tell everyone I can. <laughs> oh, I love, I'm, I'll have to scan this, unless you have like a... a jpeg image of it or something i Ooh. love your business card well as far as that goes give me your address and i'll send you some <laughs> <laughs> i'll pass them out yeah it's like are you nintendo capri son do i sound like nintendo capri son <laughs> here's his card take it yep uh but my favorite thing is your uh your byline is we've upped our standards so up yours yeah i actually stole that from a radio station like, in Georgia, I think, I believe it was, like, Power 99 Rock or something, they said it, and then this was, like, before I moved to Wisconsin, so it had to be at least 15, 1998, 17 years ago, so, yeah, but I heard, but that's where I heard it, it was on a radio station, the first time I heard it, I couldn't believe they said it, but. Right? Well, there, you can get away with a lot of stuff on the radio, of all places. Yeah, really. You can get away with a lot of stuff on the radio now. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, I thought that was like the nice icing on the cake that I actually was able to get this business card. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not hard. All you have to do is ask. But for me, that's really hard. Oh, yeah. Well, I probably couldn't just give them out to anybody because then I'd run out of stamps. But <laughs> but I do tend to hand them out at conventions quite a bit. And I, f I forgot to bring them with me at E3. I should have brought them at E3. I could have right? left piles of them on tables and who even knows. Could just throw him at Bill Trinan's face. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. Yup. Here, Reggie. <laughs> I gave one to Danny of the Game Grumps. I don't know if he kept it. But <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Yeah, that actually reminds... Um, no, nah, I'll talk about it later. I'm not going to talk about things that I do. This isn't about me. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's just face it. But I want to get into... Uh, now that I think about it, now we're talking business. This actually mm. goes really well with my next question. Are you currently partnered with any network? Yes, I am. I'm partnered with, well, um, it's technically Maker Studios, but it's also Polar Polaris. I'm not sure what the actual, I mean, over the overarching company is Maker Studios, who in turn are owned by Disney. 
So when I get yes, my paycheck, it actually comes from Disney, which is cool. Because people at the bank are like, you work for Disney? What do you do? I'm like, oh, I play video games. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's Polaris, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, how did that happen, actually? That was a... That was a bit of a story. Um, <laughs> a few years ago, well, what was it? It was like 2000. Well, those were pretty close to the beginning. A long time. Well, no, it wasn't that close. It was like 2010. So anyway, I'm rambling. Um, no, no, no. The, <laughs> You're good. Well, at some point, um, Chugga Conroy and me, you might remember this from like five years ago. So we actually, our channels got suspended from false flagging. And it's, right. um, well... Let me think. Yeah, it was, it was pretty much... And so, like, like it got really popular, and, like, all the people were talking about it. Because we weren't the only ones. I mean, a lot of people got it. It was, like, thousands of people had their channels just <laughs> taken down. And the reason for it was not so much the false flagging, because that still happens now. Like, it well, could course. happen to anybody. YouTube's kind of fixed their system since then. But back then, it was, like, just anybody could do it. Anybody could get you taken down. And yeah. so... Nowadays, that you can't do that, but thank God, because it was wrong. So, you know, when people pointed this out, and there were all these news articles about it, and wow. me and Chugga were pretty much like the most two po- most popular one. I was lucky I'd gotten as far as I did when I did, or else I may have never been a part of that at all. But you know, every, every article that came up, they were like, oh, these two users, Nintendo Capri Sun and Chugga Conroy, and all this support came in, and we started gaining, like, thousands of subscribers every day for about two wow. weeks there and then uh, eventually they got our channels back and at that point you know, makers saw how fast we were growing and they're like okay dudes we're gonna we could partner you so that this doesn't happen again and wow. so that's pretty much how it happened well and I guess it was called the game station at the time yeah that's right it was it was the yeah. game station actually yeah because I, I looked into them a couple of years ago I was like what's it gonna take to get a partnership with the same people who have Nintendo Capri Sun, Chugga, like, everybody else on their label. Probably more than 300 views a month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Oh, man. So they they definitely came to you on that. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think that's kind of a point worth noting. Uh, Maker has now kind of opened everything up to, like, anyone can get in now. Yeah, I think you have to be online for a certain amount of time, I think maybe a month or two. But... From my experience, uh, I'll just throw this out there because at least it's informative. They they tear you up. They kind mm-hmm. of go, well, if you're brand new, then it's going to be like 60-40 split favoring us. Yeah. Uh, and then once you start getting, I think it's about, the, the threshold is about 2,500 views a month. That sounds about right. Yeah, and then once contract renewal comes in, they'll be like, okay, we'll make the contract shorter and then we'll make the split favor you instead of us. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of my own, my other channel actually just kind of got to that point um, within the last couple of months. Oh. So, and I think basically the next step from there is Polaris comes to knock on your door, if you're lucky. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> there's so much competition these days. It's like, even if you do, you know, hypothetically pull out, you know, 20, 30,000 a month. Yeah. Who knows, because there's... Because <laughs> nowadays, that's... I, I mean, well, I sound like an asshole for saying this, but, but no, nowadays, no. I guess that's pretty easy to get. But I only say that because so many people do get that. That doesn't necessarily mean it's easy to get. I shouldn't say that, but... <laughs> it's... Yeah. It's tough unless... I think we've kind of hit a point in the Let's Play kind of... I don't know if you want to call it a community or the... The kind of just that base, the user base. Mm-hmm. There's so many now. Yeah, there there is something like in a future question where I address this too. So yeah, uh, and and we'll definitely talk about that in the next couple of episodes. Um, but are there any other pieces of advice or, or any advice at all about people who are looking for partnerships? Mm, you know, just kind of like, I mean. Well, you know, I mean, I guess probably my best advice is just to, to hang in there and be persistent. Because there are people out there, other than Maker, there's like, I, I know there's one called Full Screen. 
And I have um, heard of them. So, oh my gosh, there's like at least two or three others. I can't think of their names offhand. Uh, but, I think um, Machinima is still a thing. Yeah, they are actually. I'm so yeah. <laughs> surprisingly, I'm, they're not. They're, they're definitely not as strong anymore, though. They no. used to be like the de facto gaming partnership. Yeah. Oh yeah, for a while I was sort of with them. I kind of sold the video. Well, uh, it's a bad way to put it, but sold the video to them, like put, let them post it on their channel, and then they kind of sent me a little bit for the ad views and all that. <laughs> Yeah, that was really dumb. I guess no. the other thing, though, is when you're looking for a partnership is don't get your hopes up too much about, like, the money itself. Because probably, like, best case scenario, you're looking at a penny for every ten views. So yeah. if you bring, like, a thousand views a day, that's one dollar a day. Which, you know, for some people it might be something, I guess. I mean, that is thirty dollars a month, so I suppose. Which I guess kind of explains why channels like Game Grumps pull out, I think, what... Jeez, they do like oh my three gosh. or four videos a day. Yeah, like holy cow! I don't even know how they. Well, I know how they do it. They got other people to edit their videos, but <laughs> don't they have an office? Yes, they do. They got an yes, office. Markiplier lives there now, and, or well, he I don't does. Know, I don't know if he lives there, but he's. De I think he works there. I don't know. <laughs> I thought he was visiting. There is something there. <laughs> I might be uh, wrong about that. Don't anybody take my word for that, because I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure he works there, or at least. No, it's canon now. Oh, yeah. That's my head. Get some more toilet paper. <laughs> Ow. Yep. That's going to get picked up. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess this goes without saying, do you currently monetize your videos? Yes, sir. Oh, I mean, as long as they're not, like, taken by Nintendo, which some of them are, but there's nothing uh, I can do, do about we... that. Do we want to talk about that real quick? How do sure. you? I mean, if you yeah. want to, yeah. Because I, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I've written this down yet. But this is actually a really big, um, for someone who plays like made up statistic ninety percent Nintendo games. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably uh, right. How frequently do you get your videos flagged? Well, you know what? Now that you mention it, I'll go have a look since I can do that <laughs> while we're here. I haven't looked at this in like months, so I don't know. Like, it could. Last time I looked, they had marked about thirty videos out of what, like three thousand that I have. So. Yeah, and they definitely. I think there are some now that they just kind of auto-target. They do. They have like their music in the system, and if your music matches theirs, yep. it just automatically. It doesn't even have to be for more than a second. Zelda, oh, you know, they got a lot of Zelda. Ooh. Wait, Link Last? to the Past? No, Link Between Worlds. Oh, there you go. Um, well, it's, it's only five of them. Out of 30 videos, that's like... Not bad. They got the finale, which is bad. Okay, there's probably... Well, does it say how many? Ugh, I can't... I don't know if I can count these. It's about... I... Actually, all of my Mario Party videos have been flagged. Every single one of them. Oh my gosh. Rush After I... Image and Mario Paint has been matched. <laughs> Rush After Image? Oh. Yeah. They wow. matched the song. Wow. That's a stretch. That's Yeah, that's weird. They, they matched Mar <laughs> that, uh, Madonna. I was really proud of the, the one Mario Paint composer, Madonna. What was the song? Oh, shoot. I'll remember by Madonna. I did that in Mario Paint. I was really proud of how it turned out, but it was so close to the original song that it matched right away. Shit. So I took it down, but now I don't even have it anymore. I could rewrite it, probably. No, there's yeah. about 60 videos here now, 60 or 70, that have been matched, whereas last time I looked, there was like 30. But that was like six or seven months ago, so... So you think it's more of a... Depending on how recent the game is, Nintendo's more likely to flag it because of their new policies? I couldn't be sure. I, I think that is the case, though, mostly. It seems like the games that came out in, like... 2013 to 2014 when it was a huge deal are yeah. more likely to get matched but then I haven't really played any games from this year on here yet I don't think so I couldn't tell I it. guess Link Between Worlds is the closest yeah and it did get matched pretty hard Yeah, at least by comparison <laughs> yeah we may talk about this a little later I, I gotta get some time to maybe come up with some more questions ah Okay, for now, let me take a quick break. When we come back, we will continue with the history of Nintendo Capri Sun's channel. Uh, but let me just take a quick break, and we'll be back with more Let's Talk. 